We're going to look at a size comparison between the Amdro Rat Trap and the Amdro Mouse Trap. Amdro is calling it the safer and cleaner solution. They also have the warnings on both of them. They're hard to read. Warning, keep out of the reach of children and pets. I was really surprised to see just how much bigger the rat trap was, but in reality, it has to be. Let's put it on 10 inches here on the hole, the beginning of the hole, and it is about two and three quarter inch diameter. For the mouse, on the other hand, lined up at the five, six and a half, it is inch and a half diameter. It's nearly twice the diameter the rat trap is over the mouse trap. All there is to it. So you can see when you do stretch this rubber band, the same kill bands go on the same traps. Very soft trigger. I'm going to call it the sear, but you can clearly see there's a trigger that's going to let it pop up. It wants to catch on that. It's going to be interesting on the red trap because that ring's got to go quite a bit bigger. Get an idea of just how small they are. There's my fingertip. A little thumbnail, ring finger nail. But they are latex bands and they will stretch. You can see how thin the band's getting stretched. It's, it's a good thing they've got the safety. I like that. These fins help guide it into the trap. I'll show you when we put it in. On setting him, you got to be careful because you can pop over this edge. See the open hole here? That's for the bait. Bait goes in a station here. And you see these locks? I set him off. You see these locks here? He set off because he doesn't have the safety. It's just like a safety on a firearm. These things here will go in those guides. Which is kind of neat that they give you that. And then they kind of snap in. He is set. Mousetrap version is a lot easier to set. You're pushing the limits and the boundaries on this rubber band on the rat version. But I think it's going to be a cool trap. He's got the little guiding fins too. The bait goes in this little shelf here. And they snap in. You got me.
It's got some pressure. Let's take the rat trap back out because I can't reach back that far. We'll just slide him out. I'm going to hold my finger over here, slide the safety off. It's being held. Now let's see how it feels. Well, it's not going to kill you. It will put the squeeze on you though. And the bigger the diameter, the more pressure this thing is going to put on you. So I, I can see this being very effective on a rat. I have yet to catch a rat with it because I, I just got this. This is a brand new trap, has not been set. But those little bands, they really put the pressure on you. Gives you an idea again, the entire mouse trap will fit inside of the rat trap. The extra added feature, which I think is was put on out of pure necessity, is this safety. This one here, you don't really need it. It's so small to work with. It's easy just to hold it down. This one here, without the safety, you're doing quite a bit of quite a bit of finagling to get the rubber band up on it. This one does have ridges to stop it from backing back off. You can see the ridges here. The rat trap does not have them. I think it would have been a nice feature to include four or five bands of ridges on it also. Pretty neat traps, but a big trap. When this trap is set, let's look at the length. Got him right here on the, on the one inch. And he is taking up 16 and a half inches. 16 and a half inches from here. But no big deal if you're in a barn or even a house. It is a big trap. Another caution on using these rubber band type traps on mice. This will not kill the mouse instantly. And I assume it will not kill the rat instantly. Rats are tough. Not like a trap. A conventional trap. The mouse will wander around. It can take him several seconds to die. And I have seen them die on other videos. I've seen them die three to five feet away from where they were caught. So you don't want to set this trap by any holes where they can escape. Where you're going to run the risk of the mouse getting caught. He's going to die with this rubber band around his neck. Even though the mouse is in bad shape, he could still easily make it to his escape route. Or his home or his hole. So I would place these at least three to five feet away from any hole where they can escape. Or you may regret it, you may be smelling a dead mouse if you can't have access to him. Now here is a conventional mouse trap, the Jaws trap, compared to this one. Go ahead and load him up too. Or not load him up, but show you what we're doing. There he is. He's set, ready to go. Or not set, but that's what it's going to look like. There's one there. There's one on the other side of him. And you already know he is 17 and a half inches long. And here's this bad boy. Takes almost two hands to set him. I just bought him. He's a nice trap. He's a tomcat. Look at the serrated jaws. I would not want to set that off with my finger. And you don't have to. You have a counterweight. See the counterweight? The counterweight will come down when it's right side up to set the trap. Turn it upside down and hit it again. The counterweight will drop. And let you spring the trap back. That's a nice trap. And this style has been around, I don't know how many decades. I still got peanut butter on him.
but gives you an idea on the size. Look at the footprint of this trap. Very small footprint. He's almost three and a half inches wide. One, two, three. He is about three and an eighth inches wide. The Tomcat is three eighths of an inch narrower than this one. Set him up on five, five to ten. This the Tomcat is five and a half inches long. The Victor, the classic, is seven inches long. Well, thanks for watching and please subscribe.